We give God the glory. Amen. Today what I'm going to teach about is called Finding Your Divine Purpose. Finding Your Divine Purpose. Amen. Or you can say God's plan for your life. Amen. You can say finding your divine purpose or God's plan for your life. Amen. Amen. Many of us have been wondering, who am I to God? What have I been created to do? What is God's plan for me? You've been asking this question. You've been asking, what are my gifts? Today we're going to talk about these things, and I pray by the grace of God, the Holy Spirit will give us understanding and bless us today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You see, you're not just supposed to get blessed. You're also supposed to be a blessing. It's not that you just sit in your room and say, God, give me this, God, give me that, God, give me this. But you never go out and you become a blessing to someone else. It's not supposed to be that way. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And you are supposed to do the will of God for your life. Praise God. Amen. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Whoa. The word of God says, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, the word of God says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. This was what God was speaking to Jeremiah. But this is the same for each and every one of us. Amen. Before God formed you in your mom's womb, God knew you. God knew what your name was going to be. God created you, and he put all the gifts that you have inside of you. You're unique. Amen. There's no two people that are alike. No two people, not even twins. Your fingerprints are different. Your blood, your DNA is different. Your looks are different. Your gifts are different. Your callings are different. That's why you should not be envious about somebody else's calling. You should not be envious about somebody else's gifts because God created you perfectly the way he wanted to create you. Amen. And he gave you those gifts for his glory. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26 through 27. Genesis, chapter 1, 26 through 27. The word of God says, And God said, Let us make man in our image. Who's our image? That's the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Listen very carefully to verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. God has created you in his own image. So it is impossible that you should just live a life that's just waste. He's created you in his own image, which means that you are blessed. He's created you in his own image, means fruitful, gifts, love. All of these things are supposed to be inside of you, and you're supposed to use your gifts for his glory. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. So everybody is unique, and everybody needs to know what is their gift, what is their calling. Many of you might say, I don't even have a gift, but it's not true. You might say, well, 
at, at my age now, I would have known by now. That's not true. You can always know your gift. And you can always know your calling. And you can use it for the glory of God. Now, let me just talk a little bit about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, 4 through 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, 4 through 11. Now, there are diversities of gifts. Somebody say gifts. 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 Now, there are diversities of gifts. But the same spirit. There are di- there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. There are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. Which means there's many different gifts, but it's the same God, same Holy Spirit that gives you the gifts. And it's for his glory. I will continue. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. So, not just to some. To every man to profit with all. So, your gifts are to be profitable, not only to you, but unto others. Amen. Verse 8. For the one is given by the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, by the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing, by the same Spirit, to another working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirit, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the self same Spirit divided to every man severally as he will. Which means the Holy Spirit divides the gifts and gives it as he wants to give it. And it's all for the glory of God. I'm going to go to the same 1 Corinthians, chapter, the same chapter 12, but now I'm going to go to verse 27 and 28. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 27 and 28. Now ye are the body of Christ, the members in particular. So we are all part of the body of Christ. Amen. Verse 28. And God has set some in the church. First, apostles. Secondarily, prophets. Thirdly, teachers. After that, miracles. Then gifts of healing. Helps. Government. Diversities of tongues. Now, many people have never heard of the gift of helps. There is something called the gift of help. It's right there in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 28. What is the gift of helps? What is the gift of helps? The gift of helps is helping, period. If some people are not pastors. Some people are not evangelists. But some people work in the background to use their gifts for the glory of God. Let me give you some examples of the gifts of help. Music. Music. You see in church there's a choir, but you never heard there's a gift of singing, but that falls under the gift of helps. Amen. Music. Amen. Building things. Craftsmanship. Many of you can design things very well. Many of you can build things very well. There's gifts of gathering people. Some people will try to gather people, but can't, and some people can gather people. Some use their gifts inside of businesses or jobs or careers like real estate. I know a man that only sells and buys churches. That's his gift. That's what he does for the kingdom of God. He helps people buy churches. He doesn't sell houses. So you can use your gift inside of business. Cooking. Many people can't cook. Some people try to cook and burn the whole pot. Some people are very good at cooking. And that cooking is to be used for the glory of God. Some people is gardening, planting things. That's a gift from God. Amen. Some can um, use many different occupations, 
so many things are considered gifts of help. Amen. Many people have never been taught about that. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that your Holy Spirit will manifest today and pour out your spiritual gifts upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. And those of us that are already operating in the gifts, sharpen in Jesus' name we pray. Amen? Amen. 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 So I've just named some of the gifts of helps. Amen. So let me give you some examples now in the Bible of some of these gifts and how it glorifies God. But I'm going to talk about the gift of helps today. Praise God. Exodus chapter 31, verse 1 through 7. Exodus chapter 31, 1 through 7. And I will read. God was giving... Some, God has created some people with gifts for his own glory. And I'm going to show you an example here. Exodus chapter 31, 1 through 7. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezliel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, and in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. So God doesn't just have to give one gift. He can give many. He gave this, um, your, um, Bezlio. He gave him knowledge. He gave him understanding. He gave him um, knowledge in all manner of workmanship. Verse 4, to devise cunning works to work in gold and in silver and in brass and in cutting of stones to set them and in carving of timber to work in all manner of workmanship. Let me continue. And I behold, I have given with him Elhoi, the son of Ahisham, of the tribe of Dan, And in the hearts of all that are wise-hearted, I have put wisdom that they may make all that I have commanded thee, the tabernacle of the congregation, and the ark of the testimony, and the mercy seat that is thereupon, and all the furniture that is of the tabernacle. So he created. These people were born with gifts. Knowledge, wisdom, to make cunning, to devise cunning works of gold and silver, to cut sto- um, cutting of stones, carving of timber, to make furniture, to build things for the tabernacle of God. That's why they were created. Amen. Now, many people will take this gift and use it for the world, not for God. But gifts of God are for the glory of God. Amen. That's just one example. Let me go to another example. An example that's found in 1 Samuel chapter 16, 17 through 18. King David had many gifts. But one of King David's gifts was the Lord was with him and he was able to play the harp. And when the Lord is with you and you're operating in your gifts, You will be a blessing to so many people. And that's the way it works. I will start with 1 Samuel, chapter 16, 17 through 18. And Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well and bring him to me. Then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, a Bethlehemite, that is cunning in plain, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, a prudent and prudent in, in matters, and a comely person, 
and the Lord is with him. Amen. I'll skip down to now to verse 23. You see, Saul was being possessed by evil spirits. So Saul was now looking for solution. So one of his servants says, I know somebody that the Lord is with him. So they called King David. They called David. He wasn't king at that time. Verse 23. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul. Then David took a harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. Amen. So David had a gift. One of his gifts was playing the harp, music. And when he was playing the harp and the spirit of God was with him, the demons that was in King Saul cannot stay. Some people have the gift of playing instruments. Some people have a gift of singing. But when you sing for the Lord, people can be delivered out of bondage, can be set free. Amen. I've just showed you two gifts or some few gifts. Some craftsmanship, building, some music. Amen. I'll show you another one. In 1 Kings, chapter 3, verse 9. Now Solomon was a king. And when God asked him what he wanted, he did not ask for money. He asked for wisdom. And God gave it to him. In 1 Kings, chapter 3, verse 9. It says, Give therefore thy servants an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge thy so great a people? Amen. And God gave him wisdom. And God gave him discernment. Amen. There's a story, but I cannot go through the entire uh, story, but I'll paraphrase. Two prostitutes. Um, were there. They both um, gave birth. And one of the babies died. So at night, the, the baby that, the mother of the baby that died switched the other baby that was alive. And those two prostitutes began to fight with each other. And they brought the case to King Solomon. And King Solomon, in his wisdom, because he could not readily discern who was telling the truth and who was lying, so he said, give me a sword. I will divide this baby in half, and I will give one piece to you and one piece to the other. The real mother said, no, don't kill the baby. Give the baby to the other woman because it was the real mother. The other woman stayed quiet. So King Solomon said, okay, the one that did not stay quiet must be the real mother because the love of a mother shows out. So he was able to judge matters. He had wisdom. When you have the gift of discernment and wisdom, people will come to you and ask you for advice. You will now seek counsel from the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit will give you wisdom, knowledge of how to handle cases and give advice. And then you will point everyone that you give advice to towards Jesus Christ, who is the Savior. Amen. So I've just showed you just a few. And I've talked to you about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. One of the gifts is the gift of helps. But we need to know what is our own gift. We need to know who are we to God. We need to know why we were born and what we were created to do. I know many people think you're born so you can go to school, get an education, then get a job make money, retire, and die. That's what people think. But it's not so. Every day, your body is supposed to be used for the glory of God. Amen. Praise God. You are part of the body of Christ, and your gifts are to profit others, also yourself, and also your family. So you might be now saying, well, Pastor, 
Pastor Ansu, I don't know what my gift is. How do I know what my gift is? Well, first thing, you have to ask God. Number one, you have to ask God. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, the word of God says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Some of you have been making critical mistakes, serious mistakes, because you never asked the Lord before you went and did it. You never asked the Lord. You just tried to use your own wisdom. But you didn't have discernment. So the first thing, you have to ask God, who am I to you? Direct my path. What are my gifts? Show me. You have to ask him. Amen. And God is merciful. God is love. God is kind. Anything you ask in the name of Jesus shall be done, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So if you ask him, he must give it to you. Sometimes you have to fast and pray, but he will give you the answer. Amen. In Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9, the word of God says, A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Amen. Always, always ask God before you make any decision. Ask God, Lord, if this is not of you, make it impossible. But if this is of you, make it straight. Make it plain. Make, give me confirmation. Amen. Ask God, who am I to you and what are my gifts? And help me for my gifts to manifest. I want to use my gifts for you. Ask him. He's your father. He's your friend. He's the one you have a personal relationship with him. It's okay to ask him. Amen. Number two, your gifts is something that's already inside of you. And it's your, the gifts of the Holy Spirit can also, you can also ask for more. Amen. So your gifts are things that you were already born with, and you could also ask the Holy Spirit. You could also ask God for more. Amen. The gifts that are already inside you, you will know because the gift comes easy. Easy. It's something easy for you to do. How people play musical instruments, I know that it's of God. Because I tried to get a keyboard the other day and tried to watch it on YouTube and how to play it, and I just I don't, I don't know how people do it. But some people will pick up the keyboard and begin to play because it's a gift that's in them. It'd be something that's easy, something that you've been doing, and it's not a burden to you. It's not like a job to you. You enjoy it. Is there something that you do that's not a burden to you, that you enjoy? Is it cooking? Is it teaching? Is it building? Is it craftsmanship? Is it gathering? Is it music? All of those things are to be used for the glory of God. Amen. So the gift of God is already inside of you. As I mentioned before, God created these pe those people that were building the tabernacle of God. In the Old Testament, God, uh, when, when God created them, the gifts were already inside of them. Amen. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 the word of God says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. So you should be seeking what is your gift. You should be seeking of how you could be a blessing. You, could be, you should be seeking of what is the will of God for your life. And all those other things will be added unto you. Amen. It's not the other way around. It's not first wait until I become a millionaire and I'll see about God. It's not wait until I now retire and I'm too, I can't do anything, and then I'll see about God. 
is not wait until um, my fam- my children are uh, went through college, then I'll see about God. No, the Word of God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto thee. When you now operate in your gifts, you become a blessing to others. And when you become a blessing to others, God now adds to you. It's a mystery of God. Many of you have been going about it the wrong way. We thank God we're learning something here today. Amen. So we've discussed now many things. So now we're going to pray and ask God, who are we to you? Open our spiritual eyes. Let our gifts manifest so we can begin to use them. Right now, let's just take 15, 20 seconds and begin to ask God for mercy. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever we fell short, have mercy on us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please wash us clean by your precious blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Talk to your heavenly Father. Tell him, Lord, I I fell short. Have mercy on me. In the name of Jesus Christ. He that covers his sin shall not prosper. But whoso confess and forsake his sin shall have mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 If you're here and you have not given your life to Jesus and you would like to, I'm going to invite you now. It's the best decision you'll ever make in your life. Repeat after me. Say, Jesus Christ. Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Come into my life. Come Come into my life. As my Lord and Savior. As my Lord Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Have mercy on me. Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Have mercy on me. Say, Jesus Christ, take complete control of my life. Jesus Christ, take complete control of my life. Today and forevermore. Today and forever. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now, you might have been wondering, what are my gifts? The Word of God says, the secret things belong to the Lord thy God, but the things revealed belong to us and to our children. The secret things belong to God but he can reveal them to you. We're going to ask God now to help us, that our gifts will be sharper, and we'll even know our gifts. We're going to pray like they say, Oh, God, my creator. Oh, God, oh, my, God, God, God my creator. My creator. Oh, Show me who I am. Show, Show me who, who I am. am. Who I am. In, the In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Talk to your heavenly Father right now. Talk to him. You have a personal relationship with him. Talk to him. As we went through this teaching today, you've been asking, well, what are my gifts? And how can I be used to use my gifts for you? Talk to him. Oh, God, my Father, my my creator, show me who I am in the name of Jesus. Let him reveal who you are and what is your gift in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone on this line that does not know their gifts or want their gifts to be sharpened. I ask that your spirit will pour upon each and every one of them. In the name of Jesus Christ, show them who they are, Lord. In the name of Jesus, operate in their lives. In the name of Jesus, let your gifts work through them and let it be profitable and fruitful. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Fill me with your gifts and power. Fill me with your gifts and your power. In the name of Jesus. Talk to your heavenly Father, Holy Spirit. He's the Holy one that Holy gives Spirit. the gifts as Holy he will. Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill us with your gifts and your power. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, fill us with your gift, your power. In the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, fill us with your gift and your power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and every evil veil is put on every spirit of the Lord, let the let the spirit of the Lord come down. Let the spirit of the Lord come down. Let the spirit of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the spirit of the Lord come down. Let the fire of the Lord come down. Let the fire of the Lord come down. Let the fire of the Lord burn heaven Let the fire of the Lord burn In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We're going to pray like this. To every power that wants to waste me and my family. Every, Every power that wants to waste me and my family. Me and my family. Yes, I want you to pray yes, with the spirit yes. of not to me, not to my family. What does it mean to be wasted? It means that the person is supposed to live to 90 years old, die young, be wasted in an accident. The devil can waste you if you don't pray. But if you're protected by God. The devil cannot waste you. We're going to open our mouth and pray for ourselves, our children, our loved ones, our neighbors, our, our nation. Amen? To every power, every power, every power. that wants to waste me and That's my family. That wants to waste, waste, me, waste and me and my family. family. I bind and cast you out. In the name I of Jesus. I bind and cast you out. I bind and cast you out. Any power that wants to waste you and your family, whether by in our homes, on the whether by accident, whether by misdemeanor, in the name of Jesus Christ, we reject it in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind every wasting spirit. We bind every spirit of untimely death. And we cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that wants Every power wants to waste me, my wife, my family, in the my name business, of my finances, anyone in the prayer Jesus line. Name, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Say anything programmed against me and my family. Anything, anything programmed against, against me and my family. And my family. To cause our demise. To cause our demise. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Again, anyone and their family to cause their demise shall backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Every day, 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 in Jesus, Jesus' name, in Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 We're going to pray Amen. like this. Say every addiction in my life. Every, every addiction, addiction in my life. life. That does not glorify God. That, that does, does not glorify, does not glorify God. God. Die in the name of Jesus. Die. 
any addiction in my life that is not glorified God. That addiction to lies, that addiction to pornography, that addiction to money, that addiction to gossiping, die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That, that addiction to drugs, that addiction to food. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, so you are the redeemer. You are the healer. Heal us, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to cry out to God like this in this simple prayer. Say, oh God, my Father. Oh God, my Father. Oh God, my Father. I need your help. I need your help. God, my Father, I need your help. Help me. Oh God, my Father, I need help. Oh, God, my Father, you know your situation. I need your help. You help me, Father God, with getting a job removed and done, getting my uh, application God. done, God. And getting my resume done, and making it easy to get done, help. quick and fast. Help. In Jesus' name, to get a basket, to get my $30,000 of money from the side of my resume quickly, to buy a house, to get a wife, to get me a wife, in Jesus' name, get my abs in great shape, give me back in Jesus' name, let me lack money or finances to pay all my bills ahead of time, in Jesus' name. Protect my trouble, protect my home, remove all the troublemakers out of this building, Jesus' name, Christ. Expire now, in the name of Uh, Jesus Christ. uh, Father, we need your help. uh, Help us, Lord, with our work, with our career, with our finances, with our health, uh, with our children, with our home. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Right now, we're going to take just some minutes, and if there's any prayer requests, come out, say your name, and what you would like to help us to help you pray for. If there's no prayer requests, we're going to round up. Amen. Does anybody have any prayer requests? Okay, I have, I have one. one. Okay. okay, go ahead. No, go ahead. I want everybody to pray for me to get a wife. Wonderful. And, and, get a, and money for a house, to buy a house. Amen. He that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor with the Lord. Amen. Did everybody hear the prayer? I want us to Amen. all pray for him. As you're praying for your own self or your own children, I want you to pray for us. Father, in the name of Jesus, for you said in your word, it's not good for man to be alone. You will create him a helpmate. That's according to your word. In the name of Jesus, bring Brother Brian a help, his rib, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in his business, his occupation, we ask for favor. Father, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, search the land of the living. Advertise his business in the name of Jesus Christ. Let him have favor with man in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask all of this that your name will be glorified. We cover this prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ. And any power that wants to steal the answer of his prayers or wants to retaliate against them, let those powers be disintegrated by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Well with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Amen. Okay. Um, Sister Nene. Sister Princess, and there's many people that ask me for prayer requests. I'm going to try to remember some. Amen. Uh, we have Brother Kerwin. Um, he, he's praying. Um, there's a growth in his neck, and we cancel that in Jesus' name. Amen. There is, um, I don't know the name of the person, Wendy's um, stepdaughter. I don't know the name. We're putting them all together in one prayer. Amen. And all of you that have sent me prayer requests through text message or phone or whatsoever means, 
we're going to add that in there also. Amen. Okay. Is there any others? Amen. Thank you. What's that? No, thank you. Thank you so much for the prayers. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, 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 we're Jesus praying Lord. for yes. everyone's yes. health. Lord, you Father know God, them by name. You know every hair that's yeah, on their head. Father, in the name of Jesus, you said in your word, the thief comes but to steal, kill, and destroy. But you came that we may no have life and, spirit, and more abundance. Which is, which is Therefore, more like they shall have Steelers abundant life in the, in the name of the Jesus Christ. Any yeah, power, any spirit of infirmity and witchcraft inside of them, I bind them, I uproot them. For you said in your word, any tree that my heavenly Father did not plant shall be uprooted. Be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. Every infirmity be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you said in your word, by your stripes we are healed. By that blood, the blood of Jesus Christ, let your blood flow from the top of their head to the soul of their feet. Cancel Cancel any sicknesses, any illnesses against anybody in the present. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. And anyone on the line that is praying. And just but like prepare when the quiet life tries to do some actions in Jesus' name. Answer everybody. Well. Give name everybody a healthy heart. Give everybody in the prayer line a long life and great Jesus health. In Jesus' name we pray. Man. We are healed. Amen. 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 And Jesus Christ healed people. He said, Do you believe I can do this for you? As we prayed in faith, do we all believe that Jesus Christ has healed them? Yes, yes we do. We Amen. Amen. We do. They're healed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pray for everyone. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus there shall be no regrouping, no retaliation as a result of our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover everyone and their family inside of the pool of the blood of Jesus. Yes. I cover this nation with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I buy back the lost souls with the blood of Jesus. Give me the highest name of Jesus. I decree prosperity, fruitfulness, joy, peace, good health. Upon everybody Blessed on this line and the people we pray for in the, in the name of Jesus Christ, Christ. Every spiritual trap that, that, that the enemy Lord. has set for every one of us, the enemy Lord. shall Lord. fall into Give their, their own trap in the name Lord. of Jesus Christ. Our children shall not be cast away. Our families shall not be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I commit everyone on this line into your hands. And I know the things I'm committed to you, you're able to Keep us God bless you. Protect us, Lord. In our unguided hours. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus name Amen. We pray. Everybody say amen. 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 Somebody shout amen. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let us share the grace and fellowship. But first, any wickedness in the heavenlies that wants to stop the gift of God from coming down to anyone, we arrest those powers in the name of Jesus Christ. And we Amen. cast them out in Jesus' name. Let us share the Amen. grace and fellowship. Yes. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, yeah. and the yeah. fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For what the Lord has done for us, let's shout seven hallelujah. One, two, three. Hallelujah. 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 A sevenfold Jesus is Lord. Rejoice. 
Jesus is Lord. 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 Amen. God bless you all. I will see every. I will hear everybody next Monday by the grace of God. Have a great week. Have a great year. Have a great life. I cover everybody with the blood of Jesus. Have a good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. We love you. Glory be to God. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.